Good morning from Michigan. This is Robin from Garden Extras and I'm watering the greenhouse. I've opened up my walkway a little bit. I was really squeezing to get by here. I keep rearranging the furniture hoping to fit more stuff in. These beautiful little butterflies from Garden Extras, or from Collective Treasures, I am Garden Extras. I was watching one of uh, Collective Treasures picking adventure videos and I watched her after a day of picking showing the butterflies. Told her how much I liked them and I ended up with them. I have some little glass birds I think I'm going to add in here too. I'm going to turn the lights on. Maybe turn the heat up a little bit. Okay, I've turned the lights up on my camera so I can see better. So I rescued some pansies off the deck. I'm trying to get the deck to be all Christmas instead of a mix of three seasons. I also rescued this mint off the deck. It got snowed on and froze, but mint, <clears throat> mint likes cold. It's hardy. This used to have a lily growing out of the middle of it. The lily died all the way back. Are we getting new growth yet? It's more like weeds. This has little yellow flowers on it. Looks like it might be done blooming for a while. That's okay. Let's move on. Duck pansies. The first ones I brought in are completely recovered. Down here. Mint. celery butt that I planted from the kitchen. It's growing. Sedum. I love this stuff. I have it all over the place. It'll color up real nice in the greenhouse. Come spring it'll be beautiful. I usually sell these five dollars a pot and they spread and grow like crazy. I paid twenty dollars for the first tray of it. And I have made my money back at this point. I'm still trying to figure out how to rearrange this thing so I can move around in the middle and showcase the plants as nicely as I can. I want to pull the table out. About right here and push this stuff back in the corner so I can get both chairs around the table and still have room to move around. I'm not doing any more work in here for a while. This is the decline. Everything will decline for the next month, six weeks. And then the sun will start coming out more in January and all this stuff will pop back up. When the sun is out, it gets really warm in here during the day anyway. And I did turn the heat back on. I was talking about turning the heat off. Well, I had it off and then I seen a cold front coming and I plugged the smaller one in. The two that are in here. This is getting ready to bloom so that'll be fun. I'll come out here to check on things and water a few things and this will be blooming. Still have a bloom back here. So another thing I want to do while rearranging, which I do often, is I want to show off the things that are blooming. So when I come in here, I'm happy. Nasturtiums, I cut off a big trailing piece of it. This part looked healthier, so I left it. It's seeded. That's what this is right here. I 
I need two hands to do any. There's more that seed them. I had for filler kind of all over the yard this year just because it does well in the cold. So at the end of the year, there's a lot of it hanging off. I made this at the end of the year. It's a bird bath. Used to have a heater, but the heater went out. So I painted it and repurposed it. I painted it this color because I have sconces this color on the deck, and it's the only two things that were lime green were the sconces. So I added lime green to the garden this year to help balance it out. So yeah, it's hard to film in here. It's tight, but you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm going to try to rearrange it, and maybe I'll put you guys back on. You know what? I want to be able to get back here and show you what's going on under here before I end the video. My prop. I seem to have just rearranged the clutter. I'm going to go get another hanger so I can try to hang up something more on this rack, which I moved from the other side. have to find another place for this basket. But she has all the essentials that I need to work in here. Bamboo trees. These are new this year and I have propagated and I am going to pull that out and show you what's under there, under the table. Some volunteers coming up. These are daisies that I pulled up in the fall, late in the year. These were pulled up kind of late summer. This is a volunteer. I believe this is a Canterbury Bell, and they did bloom in here last year. I loved it. I managed to squeeze a few more pots in the middle on the tray because these are hanging off the end. Which, you know what? That's usable space. I have to go downstairs and get some hooks, some trays. Maybe I can find something I don't need in here that I can take out. I need to replace the bulbs in my plant light. It is on, but it's not showing up in the camera. Trimmed up the mint so I could move it to a lower shelf. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. took some of those pots that were able to be hung and squeezed them onto this rack. If it's going to be in here taking up space, it needs to be useful. Under Underperforming pot got moved down. I would like to have something pretty on top, but the problem is I have a big pot that's not pretty that needs a place to go off the floor because it's in my way. I really need to be able to move around in here and I got to be able to pull those out. And I got rid of the big basket. I took it down in my storage area in the basement. Oh look what I replaced it with. Yeah that's what I want to see when I walk in the greenhouse. Flowers. Okay I found something to put on the shelf. It's not flowers, but it's showy enough. I cleaned up the pansies, which are bouncing back nice. The pots that are not doing great, put on the lower shelves. And I have some sprouts down here. Some mustard greens. Some lettuce. Some pansies. They like it cold, so I don't know. They, I don't know how long they'll be in here. Butter. This is the pot. I still have to find a place to put it. It's a big pot. It does you have a daisy coming up? It's the same one as this one, which is getting ready to bloom. This blooms in the greenhouse every year. I always have some somewhere that ends up in here. Strawberries, I need to find a place to put. 
also likes it cold, so we'll see. Okay, I have just enough space to pull these out. Propagation station. I had mentioned I was going to propagate some herbs, which I have, and the eucalyptus trees. A rose bush, butterfly bush. This butterfly bush is doing well. These ones back here, passion flower. Don't know if they're gonna make it. These are hydrangeas that I did after the first frost and passion flowers. I haven't succeeded with the passion flowers yet, but I'm still hopeful. If a heat mat, I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but I do know that it's making this dry out really quickly. More quickly than I'm used to watering down here. Which is good, because with these propagations, I usually overwater, so maybe it's not such a bad thing. Okay, so I need to put this in the middle. You're not supposed to get these heat mats wet. This is a fail. They were wild grapevines. And it is, I see no signs of rooting. Sticks are like, don't feel good. So admit or fail, let go, make room for something new. I pulled these out to see if there was roots on this passion vine. It's been in that watering can for a while since I cleaned out the greenhouse a couple months ago and took the passion flowers inside. No roots, but it looks good, so we're, I'm just going to leave it there. It looks better than the sticks. Down here, there is a about seven, eight, nine, something like that plants in this tray that in the spring will be pulled out and then potted separately and sold for a couple dollars a pot. And the money that I made from Garden Extras has paid the bills in the greenhouse, which is running heat, lights. Every greenhouse I have ever seen is empty just has pots in it doesn't have anything green I am the only greenhouse that I have seen in my area that has green that has flowers that has something going on and that is because of my electricity bill which you know I get some flack about it sometimes so I have money put away from all of my sales so when my husband starts giving me flack I give him money and I smile. Hopefully he smiles back. The last piece of electric electrical appliance. Fan. I took the big fan out of here because I just I need more space. I keep moving stuff in and out and moving stuff out, moving stuff around, trying to get more things in. I turned the fan off when I came in here because it was early and it was still kind of chilly. I turned the heat up and the fan off. But I am exiting the building. I'll give you a quick look at what's going on in Greenhouse 2. Snow. We have snow. I would like to make room for these pansies in Greenhouse 1 on that table. Not today. Broccoli. Not looking great, but if I could get some broccoli, I would forgive it for looking so terrible. I have pulled lettuce out of here. I have pulled mustard greens out of here. I have been eating on them. It's chamomile. This. Lots of onions, which I needed yesterday, but I didn't want to come out and get them. The ones I used were less than fresh. 
So, shoot. Next time I come out here, I'll have my scissors and I'll just pull some in. Chop and drop in front of the door. It's just where stuff is. I put a bunch of seeds in here. There's parsley in here, too. I forgive you for not looking wonderful, but please bounce back. Extra pot. I thought about throwing them outside, but this greenhouse is not heated. These are cold tolerant. The stuff in the greenhouse, the other greenhouse, nothing tropical. If the heat goes out, they'll look like crap for a while and they'll be fine. So, yep, I am harvesting out of here and I do need to get some onions. I'll just cut the tops off for now. That one's an old one. I tried to pull it and it, the top came off, so it regrew. So I might as well purposely do that. Speaking of dumping pots, dead pots, this is a tomato plant. Oh my gosh, is it ever sad. Oops, did I miss a tomato? It's just sad. It's just terrible. I sprayed it with um, neem and some other organic bug spray for the white flies. And then I stuck it back in the window, so in the sun. So I'm going to warn you right now, if you have to treat for pests, keep your plants in the shade. Don't put them in the sun. Don't put them under a light. I don't have much space, so I'm okay. Say goodbye, tomato. Bye, tomato. I was making tea this morning, and I really wanted some mint. I was using some of my homegrown Eucalyptus, passion flower. Breathe easy. See, eucalyptus mint, right? So instead of using the bag, I used my eucalyptus from my also failed pot, eucalyptus tree, which I have lots of this now. So even if I don't get to keep my eucalyptus tree in the house all winter long, just sad. Sad plants. I have to get rid of them. I have to get them at least hidden out of my sight. They might bounce back. I could hide the tomato plant in the greenhouse and see if it snap, snap back. This one I can hide, I don't know, somewhere. I have two of them. So I have lots of dried eucalyptus leaves for tea. And now, because I cleaned out the... I have mint! And I'm uh, cutting just gored up for seeds. Got to cut it, clean it one batch at a time. A little washing seed center. You know, I garden year round. It's my succulent window. These are either new this year or propagations from last year's plant. That's propagation from last year's plant. Is getting ready to bloom. Where's the bud? I'll show you next time. Hopefully it'll be blooming. This one's sticking out more. Getting ready to bloom. Already blooming. I have past bloomed. This is like a past bloomed. It's not beautifully fresh. I have one on each corner. Past bloomed. I propagated this. Okay, so I propagate these. This is what I do this time of year. I propagate. And it will help pay the electric bill in the greenhouse we were just at. Down there. Greenhouse 1, Greenhouse 2, and um, Collective Treasures in the back. There's the shed. Yeah, we rock. We are happy. We have fun. We love life.